Welcome back now news from sports. According to the fourth law of AIFF second division guidelines, Shilong Lajong's points need to be deducted. This after Lajong fielded an illegible player, Psycho Hav to buy. One of the matches to boy played was versus Vasco. According to law, Vasco need to be awarded three points and three goals, which will see them get promoted along with Sporting Club de Goa in next season's I League. This is an excerpt from the website goal.com. Part of AIFF's fourth law states the following. It is quite clear that by the virtue of this regulation, Vasco will earn three additional points that will take them to 16 points and will finish in the top two teams of the final round of the AIFF second division competition. Hence, earning a promotion along with Sporting Club de Goa in the I-League next season. You know, there are different laws. Uh, this law about a, a player playing for an Ill illegible, I mean, illegible player, playing for a team, the team gets penalized, three points, and they have to be, I mean, three goals have to be awarded against them. So the points also that they have gained should be sc scrapped, and the three points should be given to, in our, uh, in our particular case, to Vasco Sports Club. So with those three points, we go through along with sporting, and Shillong, uh, Lajong team has to be, you know, they lose, they, not, re I won't say rele relegate, they, they should be, in fact, scratched from the competition. There are similar cases in Europe where the teams are scratched. Recently, a case was in Africa where where team you know was scratched from the competition because they were fielding an illegible player. Okay. And we intend fighting this out. Okay. Yeah. How are you going to pursue this matter? Sir? We have already complained to the AIFF to take a decision on this. Okay. This matter should go to the players' uh, status committee or appeals committee, and we are going to seek assistance from the GFA and fellow I League teams from Goa too. AIFF are saying that they are going to look into the matter. Do you feel it's uh, this move to promote Shillong Lajong is being done uh, deliberately? So because uh, the fan base is a reason why AIFF want to use? Yeah, that is very true. But in fact, the logic of having the tournament, qualifying tournament in Shillong Lajong was patently wrong because three teams were from Shillong. They were naturally getting the home advantage. This qualifier should have been played at a neutral venue. A sports reporter Nikhil Pereira with video journalist Devendra Gaonkar from Panji. The concluding ceremony of Directorate of Sports and Youth Affairs camp was held at Pere late Saturday evening. The Pere Centre was the biggest with 396 players and officials attending the 21-day advanced residential coaching camp. Sports Minister Babu Azgaukar, Directorate of SDSY, Dr. Susanna D'Souza, along with other officers from DSY, were present at the closing ceremony. Babu Azgaonkar asked the children for their feedback of the camp in the most sportiest way. Take a look at the children's response. Director of DSY, Dr. Susan D'Souza, said working hard is very crucial to reach to the top. Babu Asgaonkar was given a tour of the Science and Research Centre facility at Pere. There are various gadgets and devices in this centre that's situated near the Pere Sports Complex. There are special medical facilities to specially treat sport-related injuries. At the closing ceremony, former Director of Medicine at the Sports Authority of India, Dr. Ashok Ahuja was felicitated. Dr. Ahuja is also the physiotherapist of IPL's Kings XI Punjab side. 
Former basketball Olympian Dr. Tarlok Singh Sandhu was also felicitated. Our video journalist from Pede, Shan. Akhil Goa Kshatriya pa uh, Pagi Samaj recently celebrated their Silver Jubilee at Saudi Kankon. On this occasion, they organized Krida Mirava where 12 villages participated in three different games. This program was organized to encourage the community in sports activities. Zilla Parishad member Daya Pagi, President of All Goa Tennis Ball Cricket, Kanta Naik, President of All Goa Tug of War, Sandesh Sardesai, President of Kabadi Ramesh Desai, President of Pagi Samaj, Shekhar Pagi and others were present for the celebration. Here are some of the visuals of cricket and tug of war. A reporter in Kankorn, Babesh Borkar. And with this, we come to an end of this news bulletin. Take care and keep watching Prudent Media. Goodbye.